so the movie goes like this. The biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes, and people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs and keep taking them over and over. I threw the script away. I mean, who is going to believe that crazy idea? On Saturday, actor Woody Harrelson hosted Saturday Night Live, SNL, where he took the stage to give the weekly monologue. During the comedy segment, however, Harrelson criticized one thing that the left despises, COVID-19 and the vaccine. Harrelson, on his fifth appearance on SNL, made the joke on his visit to the show to advertise his upcoming movie, Champions. After going on multiple tangents about alcohol, cannabis, and various other topics, Harrelson finished a long-winding joke about a script he received after his last appearance on SNL back in 2019. Okay, so the movie goes like this. The biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes and people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs and keep taking them over and over, Harrelson said. I threw the script away. I mean who's going to believe that crazy idea? Being forced to do drugs. He joked, adding, I do that voluntarily all day long. In reaction to Harrelson's monologue, the left-wing media were quick to call his comments anti-vax conspiracies, with headlines in the Huffington Post, Variety, Rolling Stone, and the Daily Beast all lambasting the actor for his remarks. While the media, which in Harrelson's joke is supposedly owned by the biggest drug cartels in the world, quickly sprung to action to blast Harrelson's comments, social media exploded in praise for the actor telling the truth. With the coronavirus pandemic and the role that Big Pharma played in it finally being exposed on a mainstream show, perhaps more Americans will come to realize the truth about the pandemic thanks to Harrelson's hilarious monologue.